today, President Biden is meeting with NATO allies at the eastern flank following an impassioned speech in Poland where he said Russia will never win in Ukraine. There's also new information that Russia apparently carried out a failed test of an intercontinental ballistic missile capable of reaching the U.S. Today, President Biden made a surprise visit to Ukraine. There's controversy over video from the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol, which has never been made public before. It was reportedly turned over to Fox News by Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy. Critics are now raising security and ethical concerns. McCarthy's office has not responded to the reports. The roughly seven-month investigation into former President Donald Trump's actions in Georgia after the 2020 election ended last week, but the matter is far from closed. A Georgia grand jury four persons said the panel is recommending multiple indictments. It's now up to Fulton County District Attorney to review the recommendations and make charging decisions. There is a mix of wild weather from coast to coast today. A massive winter storm on its way to cause problems for a large portion of the western and northern parts of the country, while the south prepares for record February heat. And on the east coast, a rare event for this time of year, a possible tornado caused extensive damage in southern New Jersey. Over 500 flights have already been canceled for today because of the winter storm in western and northern states. That's on top of the 300 plus flights canceled yesterday. And travel plans are not expected to go any easier for those flying out later this week. Flight delays and cancellations are expected to increase through tomorrow. The Department of Transportation's internal watchdog is launching an investigation into the spike in flight cancellations and delays. It will focus on the DOT's role in the cancellations rather than the airlines. The inspector general wants to identify the causes of the issues as well as check the accuracy of the government's data around flight disruptions. Home buyers are still on the sidelines. Sales of existing homes down in January for the 12th month in a row falling to 4 million. That is the slowest annual rate since 2010. Last month's decline marks the longest streak of back-to-back -back drops going back to 1999. Continued high mortgage rates are mostly to blame as the Federal Reserve battles inflation. Today, Vice President Kamala Harris is expected to announce a break for new and lower income home buyers. People familiar with the move say fees for FHA insured loans will drop by about $800 a year. The changes would take effect next month as the spring buying season kicks in. Today is Ash Wednesday, which marks the start of Lent for Christians. Some people will get ash crosses on their forehead, signaling their acknowledgement of their sins. Lent culminates with Easter. During this time period, those who participate give up certain luxuries to show repentance for their sins. And that's today's 9 at 9. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.